Hello, I'm Lewis from DIY Machines and today we're going to be making a simple device to help with watering your pots, baskets, vegetable bed or greenhouse with an uncomplicated low cost Arduino project. I'm a keen gardener but watering your plants by hand during dry spells can take some time and this project frees me from watering so I can work on my other projects. It's also great at taking care of the garden while you're away from the home, and the plants benefit from the more regular watering. This project was brought to you by my Patreon supporters. Please consider supporting me on Patreon. Thanks. It's powered via a USB port, so you can connect it to various sources of electricity, such as an outdoor power socket or USB battery pack with integrated solar recharging. You can also customize at what time of day or night your plants are watered. I currently have mine watering the hanging baskets twice a day, once in the morning before sunrise, and then they get topped up again just after lunchtime. You will need a few things to build one of your own. You'll find links to the parts on Amazon down in the description below. You'll need an Arduino Nano, a small servo, an RTC or real-time clock, some electrical wire, three M3 by 10 bolts, and one M3 nut, a couple of hose lock compatible female connectors, and a hose lock compatible inline valve, some filament for the 3D printed components, and as an optional extra, you can use a breadboard if you don't want to solder your connections and instead want to use jumper wires. There are three printable parts to this project, the inner and outer case and the coupling. I have printed all of my parts using ABS plastic. You could use PLA or PETG, but just know that PLA is the most likely to degrade in outdoor conditions or inside a greenhouse. Here are the three 3D prints that I did, including the settings I used. I'm going to be soldering all of my connections in this video, as I will be permanently installing this into my garden. If you prefer, you can use jumpers and a breadboard to make the same connections much like I have with this one. First, we can strip the plug off the end of the servo wire and solder this directly to the Nano. There are three wires going to the servo. With mine, the red and brown wires are the power and ground, so these are attached to the Arduino's 5V and ground connections. This leaves the orange wire, which is our signal wire. This needs to be connected to digital 9 on the Arduino. Now we can turn to the real-time clock, or RTC as it's often shortened to. We will be using these four pins. You'll need to prepare four 7cm long lengths of wire for this. As before, the ground lead is connected to ground, and VCC to the same 5 volt supply the servo was just connected to. The SDA pin connects to A4 on the Arduino, and SCL to A5. Use a USB cable to connect it to your PC and open the Arduino IDE. You'll find links to the Arduino IDE and the code in the description below. In the main loop of the code are two if statements, which check the time and then initiate the watering sequence for a specified amount of time. The conditional check of the if statement checks to see if the value of the hours and minutes from the clock match what we have set here. If they both match, then the open valve function runs, followed by a delay. This delay, set in thousandths of a second, determines for how long the water is allowed to flow through the hose to your plants. You can have as many of these statements in the main loop of the code as you need. Once you've finished programming your watering schedule, we can disconnect it from the computer 
and complete the assembly. Use one of the M3 bolts and the nut to secure the servo into position like this. The servo should have come with an assortment of arms that fit to it. We want to fit the straight armed one. When we turn the circuit off after uploading the code, the servo should have been left in the valve closed position. So when we fit the arm, we want it to be vertical like this. Now rotate it 90 degrees anti-clockwise until it's horizontal. Slide in the inline valve and then fit the coupler we printed onto the servo arm. The next bit does require quite a bit of force, but you'll need to rotate the valve like this whilst pulling it away from the servo. It will take force, but we only need to do this once. I'm going to use a long USB lead connected to my outdoor power socket to power mine. So let's connect the Arduino end of the cable now and finish off the enclosure. I've soldered my connections directly to the board. So I'm just going to squeeze my electronics in place inside the enclosure. If yours is on a breadboard, you can use the self-adhesive backing to hold it into place on the ledge provided. There are two screws that need to be inserted to complete the housing. Let's now take our project to the garden. So I'll install the project between the tap and my hanging baskets. Earlier, I installed this drip irrigation kit from Hoselock to each of my hanging baskets. There's a link to it in the description below. Now, we attach this to our hose pipe using two of the quick fit connectors. And that's it. My hanging baskets will now take good care of themselves until early winter. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell icon to be notified when we publish our next project. Until next time, ciao for now.